This is a pregnant woman about to give birth as well as a crime. A few months ago Jung Hai accidentally killed her abusive husband, and sentenced to 10 years in prison. When she entered prison she found out she was pregnant. According to the laws of Korea, if a woman gives birth in prison, she can raise a child for 18 months. It was in this situation that Jung Hai gave birth to her first son. And she lives with him in prison. Jung Hai's roommates are all serious criminals. There is a vocal professor who drove her husband and lover to death. Next is a girl who was pregnant with twins but she borrowed money and could not pay off so she killed her mother. There was also a player who accidentally manslide during practice. It can be said that the guilt they have committed, forced them to stay through long years in prison. But in this desperate place, because of the appearance of a baby boy there is warmth and smile. He is the same as an angel. Anyone just sees him, will try to kiss him one. And the little angel also gradually grows up under their care. Today is his one year birthday. When the gift was shown everyone give a signal for the boy to choose their gift. But in the end the boy chooses a handcuff. That surprises people. Fortunately Grandma Moon Orc could say a word. Handcuffs are good at least he would be a judge. The atmosphere at that time is less forced. After the birthday was a Vera new member was brought in Yumi. She is young but looks miserable. Seeing stranger the boy comes to her. Yumi pushes him over. Jung Hai saw that scene so she rushed to fight Yumi. Fortunately the prison guard entered to dissuade. They were all imprisoned in dark rooms. The night comes Yumi is not fine she is smashing her head against the wall to kill herself. Later people knew that when Yumi was born she was mistreated by her stepfather. She was going to be raped by him. When struggle, she killed him accident. Although he dies, it haunts Yumi. Yumi returned to the cell everyone chose to be silent. At that moment the boy continued to approach directly embracing Yumi. But Yumi didn't push him away. Then in an activity, people come to talk to Yumi. Yumi at first is indifferent. But when she saw people push the boy, Yumi madrush to slap them directly. Jung Hai seeing her son being bullied immediately rushes up. Although the boy is the same as a son, but he is going to leave in six months later. For the past year th little angel has always lived in this prison. He hasn't seen the real world. Jung Hai feels very sorry so she wants to take her son out once. But how? Coincidentally a choir came here to perform. Jung Hai saw the opportunity come immediately went to the abbess to suggest. If she could form a choir to do her performance, is it possible to give her a day of bail take her son out to play? He agreed. Without delay Jung Hai immediately recruited the member. Ms. Moon Orc is a vocal professor of course she will be the conductor. After the round of censorship the framework was gradually formed, just missing a soprano voice. Jung Hai brought hope to Yumi. As it turns out Yumi is also a vocal student. Beautiful voice. Under Ms. Moon Orc's persuasion Yumi finally agreed. Just like that a choir was formed. Under everyone's efforts the first show was very successful. The audience below all gave them warm applause. <laughs> Jung Hai also has the advantage of having a day on bail. But at the same time she heard a lightning strike. Her son was adopted by someone else at the same day coinciding with the bail. Today the boy is out. He will be adopted too. Jung Hai take off her prison clothes and changes into plain clothes. She brings her son to a kindergarten. She took a diary and handed it to the abbot, telling her to give it to the adoptive person. Jung Hai looks at his son one last time and then leaves. But when she got to the door, she still couldn't help it. She came back. That moment, the adopt person comes. Seeing someone else holding her baby, Jung Hai was speechless, but she didn't dare go inside either. Because she knew that it is the best result. Arriving at the cell, Jung Hai falls into deep contemplation. Her son is gone, her heart has also become empty. Seeing Jung Hai's appearance, Ms. Moon Orc said to her, <laughs> From then on, Jung Hai put all her energy into the choir. It was she who held together souls filled with loneliness. The prisoners became cheerful, the cell was also filled with laughter. Because of music, they went together. Just like that, four years passed, the choir became more and more perfect. One day, the supervisor rushed over, telling everyone the good news. The choir will represent the prison participating in the contest in Seoul. This was a rare chance. Not only can you go out to visit, you can also meet your loved ones. Everyone were happy. But there was an accident happened before that day. Because a lady had her diamond ring stolen. Therefore, the entire prisoners quickly turned to the first suspects. Even though they tried to clear up, no one believed. They were even forced to strip off in the middle of the hallway for inspection. The performance they had been expecting for so long was also cancelled. Everyone takes off their clothes, only Jung Hai is not. She assumed that she had done nothing wrong, so she protested. But she was quickly restrained by a police officer. At that moment, the abbess came, helping them regain justice. <laughs> Jung Hai 
우리 감시개가 소홀했다 이겁니까? 우리 합창단이 도둑이면 내가 책임집니다. Because of that, the choir regained the opportunity to stand on stage. Despite having to suffer a superficial look, bad treated. They bring all their feelings into their singing, to their loved ones. That's enough, their eyes are now filled with tears. The performance ended, the audience extremely responded. They all stood up and cheered for the choir at the same time. But suddenly, the light turned off. A clear sound came from the darkness. A group of children holding candles slowly stepped out. The leading boy grabbed Jung Hai's hand tightly. He is her son. But the boy remembers nothing. The show ended, Jung Hai didn't reveal anything to her son. On behalf of an aunt, she hugged him. Before leaving, the adoptive mother gives Jung Hai a gift. Inside was her son's entire growth process. Seeing them, she bursts into tears. <laughs> Ms. Moon Ork used to be a professor, she is now a death row inmate. Several decades ago, her husband cheated her with a female student. They had an affair in front of their daughter. So, she drove the couple to death. Therefore, she was also sentenced to death. But Korea at that time abolished the death penalty law. Hence Ms. Moon Ork had to stay in prison for several decades. She is the oldest person in the prison. Years in prison, she met every kind of person. She is also experienced. So in everyone's eyes, Mrs. Moon Ork is like a mother. Takes care of her children. Yet that woman, doesn't have the forgiveness of her own daughter. She sent many letters, but no replies. She called back, her daughter only answer, you called the wrong number, then hangs up coldly. Then with the help of the wardens Ms. Moon Ork met her daughter again. But she considers her ruining her life. Because of her crazy action. If it hadn't been for her she wouldn't have to suffer a lot. Hearing this Ms. Moon Ork was heartbroken and said, <laughs> Then she leaves. Ms. Moon Ork turns the pain into her heart and soul to send it to the choir. There were a lot of problems at first. Ms. Moon Ork said, if you want to sing first open your heart. If you close your soul, then the choir is useless. So she holds a lot of activities. Everyone tell their pasts. From then on everyone focused on practice. They are more and more skillful than before. They were even allowed to go to perform for the tournament. But at the time, the death penalty law officially returned. Moon Ork's daughter after hearing the news actively sought out her mother. The female prison guard took her back to what used to be her home. As soon as she entered the daughter ran to hug Moon Ork. She also did not understand why her daughter took the initiative to forgive her. She waited it for so long and finally she got it. They were together. But it was too late. That night the mother and daughter were sleeping together the daughter leaned her head on Moon Ork's shoulder. In the end she couldn't bear Itran to the bathroom crying alone. The next day Ms. Moon Ork returned to the detention center. People congratulations her. Just when everyone was having a good time, the female guardian came to take Moon Ork away. People saw something wrong. Two's greater than so they kept quiet. Ms. Moon Ork also seems to understand the problem. After arranging everything, she stood up and walked away with tears. Jung Hai stood in front of her and said, before she left, she looked back at the daughters, who were all in tears. She looked toward them, smiling softly. At that time, all female prisoners began to sing. Finally, what lingers on everyone's mind is Ms. Moon Ork's smile and calmness. Is also the compassion and admiration of everyone. Powers and freedoms can be restricted. But there is one thing unbound. This is love. Okay, the movie ended here. See you again.